Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can add featured collection in Shopify DOM theme. It is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over shopify.com. Then you are going simply right there to add some product. So here, as you can see, we have been faced with the admin dashboard. We're going to see here to the left side, a menu. And here we are going to select the product. This is the first step to begin with. So we are going to add as many products as we can. So we are going to click on add product and also go ahead, set up the title, description, media of that product, the category, the price, and also set up the shipping and the inventory and etc. After setting up the product, you're going to head over the collection. Make sure that you are going to add a collection from here or you can go ahead and add it later. So I'm going to create a collection in front of you to make it easier for you in advance. We're going to click on create collection. So from here, we are going to add a title to our collection. For example, we are going to set up your accessory stories collection for example like that collection so for the description i'm going to uh, here copy and paste the same title now once we have set up the description we're going to see the description type we have the manual so we are going to add a, the product one by one to this collection or you can go ahead and set it as automated. So for the automated one is going to be here creating the product from scratch or adding some conditions to that specific product. So it could be here a keyword, a tag, or the, as you can see here, the price, the weight, or anything. So I'm going to set it as manual because here we are going to browse all the products and add them. So we are going to add, for example, here, the automatic dog cat feeder water dispenser. So we are going to add this one also. And now let's search for other products like some accessories. I don't have much, but I'm going to add this. We need at least three, uh, not three, but four. So the uh, featured collection section would be here showing at least uh, three or four uh, here parts. So we are going to add this one. Here we have the four products. You can add an image to present here the collection, but I will not use it for this time. We're going to click on save. This is the uh, here the collection that we have added. Now we are going to head over the sales channels. And from here, we're going to select the online store. And here we have the menu items from the online store. We are going to select here the themes. So. We are going to obviously search and uh, continue here the customization with the Shopify DOM theme, which is here made as our current, current uh, theme. So we are going to click on the customize button. We are going to open up here a new page for the Shopify uh, theme editor. You can go ahead and uh, create here a copy of your theme if you don't want to uh, ruin it or add something that it is going to be here messing around the, uh, the theme so much. In this case, I will not do that because only I am going to add a section. But in case you are going to add some codings or add uh, some uh, heavy apps, you need to click on the three dots. Then you are going to click on duplicate. So you are going to set up here a copy of Tom theme and you are going to see the data has been added. So you are not going uh, right there to add the modification to that last version of the copy. Now let's head over the theme and we are going simply right there to see it here. Now we are going to choose the page that we are going to add the featured collection to. So in our case, I'm going to head over the header, click on the top here, which is going to show up the home button. And that means that we are on the home page. You can go ahead and click on the product page and add it to it. So I'm going to start by adding the featured collection to the home page. Then we are going to head over the product page and do the same thing. 
So this is an example of the featured products. You have here a section. So we are going to click on add section on the template side, not on the header or the footer. And then we're going to see featured collection, featured product, and etc. Obviously, we're going to select the first item, which is featured collection. It will be shown as a blank here section containing some uh, here models or some samples to on the product, how they will look. Also, the title or the header. You can go ahead and change the header by deleting the text or modifying the text also modify the sizing of it so you can also add some description right there and it will be shown up here so in my case i will go ahead and delete that description and for the description style you can add it as a body subtitle or uppercase for the collection you're going to select here the collection that you want this is why i told you that we need to create a collection in advance so if you have created one it is okay you are going to choose it if you didn't you can go ahead and click on create collection and it will take you to the collection creator right away now aside from that we are going simply to add the collection which is accessories collection right there it will show up here the four product that we have added now you can go ahead and set up a limit for the maximum product to show for example you can go ahead and put it as two as minimum three to uh, fill a little bit of the gap or and make it complete you can also make it five six or seven but here it is going to be depending on the product that you have added on this collection so the number of columns on desktop you can go ahead and drop it for example like that or you can go ahead and uh, increase it so you can also make the product full width like that or make it here as square as possible so if you scroll back down a little bit you're going to see the view all style so this is the uh, solid button outline button and also a link you can enable the carousel on the desktop right there now for the scholar scheme you can go ahead and modify it or change it depending on the scheme that you are going to add it will only change the color scheme of that specific section so for product card, which are going to be these squares, or this is adapted to the image as squares, you can go ahead and change it to adapt to image, portraits like that, or squares. You can go ahead also and let it as adapt to image, and I think that they look the same. For the image shape, you can go ahead and get or uh, set up or whatever you want from here. You can add them as rounded or default, which are going to be squares. You can show the second image on hover, for example, for each one of the images like that. And this is a very good right there uh, strategy to set up the intention of the client on buying this product. You can show the vendors and they will show it right there. Also, you can uh, show the product ratings if you have the uh, Judge Me or any rating app that has been installed into your store. So for the quick add right there, you can go ahead and add the add to cart or quick add to cart button or choosing the option also adding to the cart button. So this is a very high rating or a high conversion move that will let you sell uh, very quickly right there without any uh, entering the page and set it up. You can also uh, set up the section padding, the bottom padding, also the top and also set up some theme settings for the positions of the cards and etc now that was how we can add this specific section which is the featured collection you can go ahead and add it or add do the same thing with the page of the product so we are going to click on the home button at the top select product select the default product and here you are going to see that we can have some sections now we are going to add the uh, template right there at that section. We are going to head over the end of the template, click on add section, featured product, boom. So we are going to click on it. And here we have the same thing. So we are going to select your collections, click on save, boom. Here we have did the same thing. So that was very easy and very simple. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.